Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvelously well. Today, we're going to be reviewing the new Jay-Z microphone, the BB-29. And this is based on the classic blue, blueberry microphone. Let's unbox this little baby here. The BB-29 holder. Oh, and the best thing is, we're doing a giveaway. So you can win this microphone. I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but I'm imagining it's gonna be quite interesting considering the clip that is used to hold it. Did that completely backwards. Open the clip first. The BB-29 Studio Condenser Microphone, handcrafted in Latvia. It's definitely well packed. There you go. What a rather cool looking mic to say the least. Um, okay, so I see it has, we can put it straight onto a mic stand on the bottom. The clip looks like presumably it can go either on the top or the bottom. The other thing is, is they're having a Black Friday sale that they asked me to talk about. And it's gonna be 50% off of all of their microphones. And we've demoed quite a few of these over the years, as you know. This is crazy, oh. I think I understand how this might work. Is it this? See if, see if the lateral thinking makes sense. Okay. There you go. Pretty straightforward. We didn't, there's no diagram to show how to do it, but it didn't take much of brain power to figure out how to do it. That's a really good idea. That's very simple. There you go. It looks like it's a fixed polar pattern. Let's try it out. We are going to do a cover of one of my favorite songs. The Beatles, I've Got a Feeling. And we have the rather wonderful Mr. Steve Magora, who's gonna be singing and playing keys. You all know him, he's done a ton of stuff with us here and Produce Like a Pro in the Academy as well. And also we have the rather wonderful Mr. Blair Sinter playing drums. Got a feeling, a feeling deep inside. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right.
I like the sound of this mic. It's got a lot of girth, a lot of like thickness to it, but it's also got a little bit of a crunch to it. So let's listen to the drums. We're going to go through all of the elements here. You heard the mix, obviously. You're going to download the multi-tracks. You can make up your own mind. You can mix the song. So what did I do? I put a little bit of Puig Tech on it. So basically a little bit of Poltec at 60 hertz, just to give it a little bit of oomph. Take it off. Back on. Maybe a bit more. It's a lot. It all comes down to the balance of the drummer. You know, he's playing the hi-hat quite aggressively, so there is a de on there. It's turned off at the moment, but you might, when you come come to mix it, maybe, maybe you want to put a de on there just to take out some of those hats. Uh, I've been known to go in and automate that kind of stuff down or gain it down if it's a bit too much. But at the moment, it works pretty well. Bit of extra oomph. So that's the drums. It's just great on its own. I've got a blend of the DI and the bass amp together. So have a look. give that a listen. Great, put the drums in. The keys were Steve's Roland, and he put that through our Fender Tone Master, and we mic that. Now, I've got two guitars on this. You saw me playing the main rhythm part on my Yamaha. And the reason why I used that Yamaha was because it has a P90 in it. And I don't have a casino. God, I wish I had a casino. <laughs> that would be amazing. But that had P90s in it. So here's the guitars. And also I gave you a DI so you can go and mix it and reamp it and do whatever you like. <laughs> And the lead bits were done with my Strat. The original was done on a Telecaster, a Rosewood Telecaster. You probably remember the Let It Be film, those of you who've seen it. And I've always coveted that guitar. I've always wanted it. Even the Japanese ones that came out in the 90s or the late 80s, they go for a fortune though, let alone the American ones. They're really super rare. So here's that guitar. Both of these are going through reverbs and the reverbs are opposite, panned opposite the main guitars. <laughs> Again, those guitars were done through the Fender Deluxe Tone Master. It's been a go-to amp for me for quite a lot recently. I love the way it sounds. Okay, next up is Steve's vocal. And yeah, this is pretty special. Um, it's mainly being hit by the Arvox here quite aggressively. And it's giving us quite a lot of compression, but it's really bringing out the grit in his voice. Oh, no!
I've got to assure you, this is a take. This is not a comp and there's no tuning. You can solo it. You can listen to it on your own. There is no tuning. This is the way Steve sings. And we did three takes. I think we did three takes. And we ended up with this one because he wanted to say, can I mind if I experiment and put myself into it? And I was like, of course, this is, this is a cover. This is not like an exact replica of it. And then we printed all of our effects for you. So you have all of those. You can mix that. That's basically the vocal thickening effect and also our reverbs, which are lexicons. And we've got delays down there. And then the only other thing is me. <laughs> I have that kind of, I have my John Lennon part. And that's almost the spoken sung words, if you like. And, and you've also got all of the effects for that as well, all of the vocal thickening and the reverbs. And just a reminder, here's me. Woo! Everybody had a hard year. Everybody had a good time. Everybody had a wet dream. Everybody saw the sunshine. Oh, yeah. Again, no tuning. <laughs> you can probably tell. But there's something about this song. It's not cut to a click. It's tempo mapped after the fact, but it's all over the place. Sometimes it's 83, sometimes it's 84, sometimes it's 85, sometimes. It's... You know, this song was either done live in the studio by the Beatles originally or on the roof. Both of it was supposed to be about capturing a live groove. So we weren't going to go ahead and try and recreate this, you know, to a grid and edit the schnizzle out of it. I hope you enjoyed that. You can download the multitracks down below there and you can mix them for yourself. If you're an Academy member, we will be reviewing the mixes as well. Jay-Z are having a Black Friday sale and it's 50% off of all of their studio condensers. Also, if you do want to go to jayzmike.com and use the code WARREN, you'll also get free shipping. It's very nice of them. So you go to jayzmike.com, enter the code Warren, and they will ship it to you for free, as well as giving you half off. And the great thing about this, because it's a brand new microphone, and if you do enter that code Warren, you'll be put at the front of the queue. Other people who will order this mic will not get it until possibly January. So if you want to get this microphone now and you like it, download the multitracks, give it a listen, see what you think yourself. You can get it for 50% off and you can get it with free shipping when you enter the code Warren and get it first. Thanks ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. Thanks ever so much to the wonderful Steve McGora, Robert John on the Rec, who has just recently joined Toto. Shh, don't tell anybody. And Mr. Blair Sinter, the rather wonderful drummer himself. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. See you all again very soon. Mm -hmm.